Hello, we've seen how we can build a Docker image previously. Uh, we've, we've done that interactively. So we downloaded an image, um, the Ubuntu image. We added one or two tools, the wget and curl tools. And then from there, we use Docker commit to, to build an image out of that. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a build a Docker image now automatically using a Docker file. And this way, is much better than the previous one, much better than doing it uh, interactively because we can uh, write a Docker file on our own. It's like writing a small program, a small list of steps to do, and we can let Docker build, Docker build the image automatically for us. What we need to do though is create a new directory, let's say, so make there my first or my image, something like this, and then go inside that directory, my image, and create a file called docker file just like that with a capital D and then inside the docker file maybe use nano or vim whichever um, uh, text editor you like maybe you like a GUI text editor like get it or something like that it's up to you docker file and inside the docker file what we do is we write uh, like a, like a build recipe or like a, you know a few commands or steps or list of commands uh, to tell Docker how we want to build the image and what we want uh, in it. So it'll contain like a series of instruction, instructions telling Docker how an image is, is, is constructed. After that, after we finish uh, the, the Docker file, we use the docker build command to do that, to build the actual image, right? So remember always the file is called docker file with capital D and we usually need to have it in a separate directory, preferably we call directory something that we can that directory can, something that we can remember like something that's maybe close to the image name and now we start by saying from let's say ubuntu if you remember the ubuntu image that we used before so this is our base image right our base image what we want to do there is from ubuntu what this tells docker is to download the ubuntu image if it's not available on our local machine to download it from Docker Hub, so from Ubuntu, this is our base image, and then we can say, for example, run apt get update. If you remember, we've done this before, and then maybe run apt get install, maybe the same tool, uh, wget. But now, because when we try to do apt get install wget, it will ask us. Uh, to agree or not, so to do yes or no, so that's interactive, we don't want that, we, we want to agree automatically, we want to accept yes automatically, so we say hyphen y, w get, by doing that, it will automatically accept and install the tool. So here what we've done is we've then, we've used the from keyword, which indicates the base image for our build, and then each run line will be executed by Docker, during the build so it will execute this line and then this line after I download the ubuntu image if it's not on the local uh, machine and we always need to avoid having interactive commands in our docker file so they must be non-interactive meaning you know we don't want any input from the user uh, when we do the build and then what we do now is save so we can save the image and then we do docker build if you remember tagging the image so minus t to tag the image now let's call it for example my ubuntu image my ubuntu image we spoke about tagging the image before my ubuntu image and then i use the dot to tell it that you can find the docker file in the current directory yeah it's called the build context our current directory we hit enter and as you can see now it's downloading stuff and building uh this is the from ubuntu and then it starts to build the image and execute the command so run apt get update it run the update and then it will run the apt get install w get and the image will be created so remember the minus t indicates the tag to apply to the image and the dot indicates the location of the build context which is you know currently in our case our current directory so now it has successfully built the image and this is the image ID. But you notice there are intermediate steps. There are intermediate steps that it has executed. So let's go up. Um, 
reading package lists, removing intermediate containers. So it does have some intermediate steps that we will explain in the next video. But let's at least make sure, uh, I'm sorry, Docker images. Let's at least have, make sure that we have the image. This is the image that we created 30, 33 seconds ago. It's, we give it the name, the My Ubuntu image, and that's its ID. Right, so that's very good. We've managed to build uh, build the, the image uh, automatically via the Docker file. In the next video, we'll try to uh, elaborate more on the output, that the stuff that we see when we build the image. Let's stop here. See you next time.